Welcome back to Firefighter Catfrotters Fire Safety Tips. Tonight we're actually going to be cooking another meal. So I'm going to be doing something really cool. Uh, family's hungry again, so I just got back from a promotional class. And uh, tonight we're going to do some chicken, some bacon, some vegetables, Brussels sprouts. You can buy it in the bag if you want. But it's all magically going to go all into a, a single pot, a double cooker. So these are just basically uh, chicken legs. So and then some bacon. You could get some like thick cut, anything you want. I like nitrate free garlic. It's gonna go in the pot, like that bag I was telling you about before. Now butter, butter is better. Uh, butter is gonna be seasoning some of the vegetables, and it's gonna give it the nice juices. And the bacon fats can also help. So and also I got a bag of small potatoes, uh, all different types. You can do whatever you want, different vegetables, different potatoes. But tonight, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, you can do broccoli instead. And then uh, I'm going to put salt and pepper. So I got a handful of uh, peppercorn and a little bit of salt. Put it in here. I'm going to blend it up dry. And individually, I'm going to mix everything and kind of get it seasoned a little bit. And pretty much all the same seasoning. The bacon and everything else is going to give it the richness. And I'm going to put it in my double cooker right here. And this is going to be the final final when it's all done, you'll see. So, stay tuned and I'll show you my mixing. Okay, so, whoa, like pepper, sp <coughs> uh, pepper spray. So I pretty much grinded up the pepper and the salt to my face, cut the potatoes. I'm going to put the salt and pepper in here, sprinkle it a little bit, just a little bit, okay? That's basically going to season it. Season it up. Then, throw it right in the pot. Throw it right in this pot. Right here. Boom. Hear that nice noise? So then, what I do, is I have the pot right here. So, let me, uh, let me show you my magic. My little guys. Right over there. Hi, Daddy. Okay, dude. So I'm going to put the butter in here. It's going to help season the potatoes. And then garlic. So garlic. Nope. Let's do it there. Because you're in your other pants. So garlic. If you get some uh, shirt on, you can come in. Eh? So, so I have the garlic. I have the potatoes. The Brussels sprouts. All this stuff is going to go in. It's going to go right in. Now, the Brussels sprouts, I'm going to basically pour right in here. Remember I told you about the seasoning? I did a little, little mess up. I had to cut the Brussels sprouts. So I don't know if you want to have them big old bulbs or whatever like that, but you kind of want to uh, split them in half. And if you split them in half, it's a little better because it goes a little further, it cooks a little better, and cutting them in half is easy. You cut it right down the middle, right down the middle, okay? So kind of like a uh, head of lettuce. So if you cut it in half where it's not like that, it's going to fall apart on you in an instant. So you don't want that. That's a, that's a downer. So this will just take a minute. The Brussels sprouts I got are already washed, so you didn't see me wash them, they're already pre-washed. And uh, once that's done, I'll show you that, that finished. Okay, so we got the Brussels sprouts all cut up right here in halves from where the stem is. So as you can see, oh, not necessarily get the season up. You can if you want. Uh, it's going to be plenty seasoned inside of there. The bacon's going to go in there also. It's going to give it flavor. It's going to give it a little fat. And uh, pregnant lady needs her fat. And uh, so it's baby inside. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I told you before, I'm going to put it right in this dish right here. So boom. Pile it in there, right? The bacon, same exact thing. Now don't worry, cold, wet, dry, meat, whatever, all this meat. It's all going to go in the same pot, so I'm actually not trying to cross-contaminate. Everything's going to be cooked. Everything's going to be fine. And uh, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So this is going to go right here like that. Bacon's going to go right inside. It's all going to cook down. Now the chicken. The chicken, what I do is I open up the chicken, and I do a light season like I told you before. of salt and pepper just in the same, same exact container here. The same container. I'm going to put it right there. As you're going to witness with your own eyes, this is Rocky uh, Chicken up in Petaluma. It's a good place. I'm down in the Bay Area, so you get whatever chicken you like. But my family does like this chicken here. So my turnouts are falling off here. 
So I got the chicken. I'm going to season it just a little bit here. Make sure my, uh, my hands are not... There you go. So I'm just going to like this. Put this in there. I don't want to touch it with raw meat right there. So just like that. Do that. I'm going to mix it up. Watch this. So let's kind of mix it up. It's like a dry rub. I'm going to dry rub this guy. And I'm going to fix that right there. Okay. So it's dry rubbed up. I'm going to go ahead and put it right in that dish. Same exact thing. So let it sit inside of there. Then I'm going to put the top on. I'm going to cook it on high. I cook it on high for 45 minutes. So 45 minutes, this is going to cook. And my family's going to be able to eat. And they are going to love it. And, you know, I'm going to mix it around. So I'm going to open it up and, you know, kind of mix all the meat and vegetables around just so it kind of cooks evenly. Cooks completely. My little guy, you know, he needs his carbohydrates also. So I'm going to do some, uh, some of these guys. Kids love little muffins. So I'm going to do that too. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Muffins are popping open, put it on. But this is it right here. I'm going to put the top on and cook it for 45 minutes. So top goes on. Okay, on high. See, uh, these guys here, muffins. Now I know self-explanatory, but you know sometimes it's not enough. So I'll pop it open. It's gonna be loud. It's gonna be like a little, little palm. Wow. I think I need more muscle. Ugh. Oh, there we go. My wife's laughing at me. Okay, so muffins. These take, you know, on the package it tells you. I don't know the top of my head, but uh, 18 minutes, something like that. What you want to do is you want to just watch them golden. If they're golden. You're golden, and you can eat them. So, I also like to look to make sure there's no little pieces of metal in here. I'm kind of a hypochondriac, if you really get to know me. And I freak out about stuff like that. So, it's like aluminum foil type of thing. So I just take a little bit off, bam, off. Not going to see it again. So, what I do is put this strategically on here, and... Uh, like so, and pop it in the oven. 325. I don't know, it's about 18 minutes, and those guys are going to be done. Everything else is a cleanup. Very simple meal. It's about a 45 minute meal. Uh, it takes like five minutes to make, and your family's going to love it. So, I'll show you the final product. Okay, muffins are ready. They're looking nice. This is uh, the most simple part of the meal. Actually, gonna make it scratch, but uh, but inside of here is the magic. So, right there, chicken's right in here. I'm gonna mix it around. Like I said before, you want to mix it, get it so all the juices are kind of flowing in there. You want to get you want to you want to get the chicken down below. So the goal is to get the chicken below, kind of move the veggies around, get the veggies up, take out the fire pit, and then uh, yeah, we'll see. Fact. I have to start over. So that was a little noisy. Oh, see, the muffins are ready. Fan was on, and the chicken I'm uh, gonna get down below. We got the veggies, which are up high. No big deal. That's what we want. We want the chicken down below, so it's gonna cook it and make it nice and golden, just like those beautiful muffins right beside me. Once this is uh, all golden and ready to go, we're gonna have dinner soon. So, oh, as it splashes up on here. So I give it another about 20 minutes. This has been 20 minutes already. So 20 minutes from now, because those muffins are all out, we're going to have this ready for the family to eat. Okay, here we are with the dinner. So this is my chicken all in one platter. It is absolutely delicious. The chicken falls right apart. It was 45 minutes to make, and it's a plateful for everybody in my family. There's vegetables, Brussels sprouts, bacon, potatoes, the chicken, and you can even cook it longer if you want, uh, but I did it for 45 minutes. So thanks for joining me. Join me again, Firefighter Calf Cooking, and uh, see you soon.